Just starting out and looking for an affordable, good quality microphone? The Beiringer B1 might be the microphone for you. If you're just starting out in radio and want a good quality, low budget microphone, the Beiringer B1 is definitely an option to consider. It works best for home recordings and makes a brilliant starter mic. From just looking at it, you can tell that this microphone is made to last. Its nickel-plated body means that it feels durable. The switch at the front of the microphone changes how the microphone picks up audio and has a few extra features that might help you to get some clearer recordings from it. Push the switch to the left and you have the low cut filter. This filters out any low frequency sounds such as pops. It can also help to filter out any floor rumbling or loud background noises. It helps to knock down the volume of loud noises a bit, reducing the risk of peaking. Placing the switch directly in the middle cuts off both of these features, which is perfect for normal studio recordings. Adding a windshield helps to tone down plosives, so things like P sounds or popping sounds. The Bay Ringer is an XLR mic, so it does need to be routed through a mixing desk with 48 volts phantom power. If you need to know any more about mixing desks, check out our blog posts on the best broadcasting desks. If you want to see how the Beiringer B1 fares against a much more expensive microphone, check out our review of the Newman U87 in the description below. Overall, the B1 is still clear and crisp, but it has a much warmer feel to it. We use the B1 at Radio.co a lot for our voiceovers, and we think it's a fantastic low-budget microphone with excellent results. Plus, for the price you pay, it's hard to beat. If you're looking for a durable, good quality, low-budget microphone, the Beiringer B1 fits the bill. With multiple recording settings and a sturdy build made to last, it's the perfect starter mic for home recordings and even musicians. So what do you think of the Beiringer B1? What microphone are you currently using? Let us know in the comments below. If you have any questions about this or any other audio equipment, be sure to contact us at studio at radio.co.